Do you know what is FeOl, MeOl and BeOl in VLSI fabrication process? Do you know how all these three are implemented in physical design process? Let's start our journey to know all the answers. Hey guys, welcome back to the computer screen. In today's episode, we are going to cover the below topics. We will do a quick recap of the semiconductor fabrication process or PMOS. Next, we will do the categorization by end of line for the entire CMOS process. We will explain different end of line parts by a vertical cross section of a chip. We will go further in detail in front end of line. Then we will cover the middle end of line. Then we will cover the back end of line. We will show the different end of line sections inside a CMOS layout. Then we will point out the FEOL and BOL parts which are designed through the physical design steps. Once all these points are discussed, we will summarize the entire discussion. We are done with this slide, so let's move on. Semiconductor CMOS process. Here is the infographics by which we will recap already known fabrication process. It's in a cyclic manner. So let me start from one point. We do the deposition. Then we do the photoresistive coating. Then we use a mask and expose this photoresist to the mask layout and accordingly imprint happened on the photoresist coating. Then we develop it and then we etch it and then we do the needful ion implantation. Finally, we will be chipping out the remaining water resist and this kind of process keeps on repeating for different zones and different low pans in the entire semiconductor wafer. And this particular mask is designed in physical design which is taped out as GDS2. Uh, we are done with this particular slide. So let's move on. Now we will categorize the entire CMOS fabrication into three different sections as per the actual semiconductor fab process divisions. The first part is called the FUL or front end of line. The next part is called the middle end of line. And the last part is called the back end of line that is BEOL. In front end of line, we develop the transistor level layout design into the silicon wafer. In middle end of line, we do the transistor level interconnect. Keep it in mind, this level of interconnect is only for the transistor level. And in back end of line, we do the PNR level interconnect. So once your GDS2 is ready during the actual semiconductor fabrication process, it treats into three parts, FEOL, MEOL and BUL, according to which the different stages are fabricated or developed. We are done with this particular slide. So let's move on. Vertical cross section of chip. So here in this picture, you can see the vertical cross section of a chip and this is taken from Wikipedia. So you can go ahead and also look it there. You can see it clearly. So let me point out where the different end of line processes resides. So here resides the FEOL part. So it's the fabrication of the transistor and other active or passive devices on silicon. Next, the uh, transistor level or the active or passive level device interconnections are done through the MEOL process. So this is a very low level connection. You can see we have not used any vias or higher metal layer. So it's very, very, very minimalistic interconnect. And the rest of the interconnect, whatever we do in the PNR level in the SOC design or specifically in the physical design process of the SOC design, all those interconnects that is the metal and via layers are fabricated through the EEOL process. So this explains what are the things, the so front end of line, then mid end of the line and then back end. So this explains the three process, FEOL, MEOL and BEOL. We are done with this particular slide. So let's move on. Front end of line. This whole geometric representation come out of physical design is called integrated circuit layout. The wiring is termed as routing. The physical design makes room for the FEOL, MEOL and BOL during fabrication. The front end of line is the first portion of the IZ fabrication where transistor, capacitor, resistor, etc. are fabricated as per the layout made in the physical design. 
FUOL consists of the chemical mechanical polishing also known as and cleaning of the wafer. Shallow trench isolation STI or low cost it is applicable for technology not greater than 0.25 micrometer comes under the FUOL. FUOL also include well formation, gate module formation, doors and drain module formation. So this gives a clear snapshot of the FUOL. We are done with this particular slide so let's move on. Middle end of line MUL. MUL consists of semiconductor wafer process steps that create local electrical connection among source drain gate of transistor. Most important part of the MUL is the gate contact formation. It occurs after front end of line that is the transistor design capacitor design resistor formation are complete. Before the back end of line metal via or isolation dielectric formation process. It's in the middle you can understand by its name. We are done with this particular slide let's move on. Back end of line BEOL. The back end of line is remaining portion of the IC fabrication where the wiring is done through the metallization or vias including dielectric separators among various metal layers. And it goes like silicization of the polysilicon and source drain diffusion, then adding a pre metal dielectric and CMP polishing it, then making holes in PMD and create contact through it, adding metal layer 1, then uh, also known as the intermetal dielectric, adding it to CVD, make vias through the IMD to connect lower metal layer with the higher metal layer. Carry on the last step until all the metal layer are as per the particular tech node are done and at final passivation layer to protect the entire We are done with this particular slide, so let's move on. So here we will show you a CMOS layout and uh, during that process I will point out that where the FUL is, where the MUL is and where the BUL is. So let's start. In left side will be the NMOS part and right side will be the PMOS. This is N well on which our PMOS will be created and uh, this is the P select layer and this is the diffusion layer. And here you can see the N select layer and the diffusion layer. And here goes the source drain contacts. So, before creating the contacts, all these things which were fabricated were in the FUL. As soon as we put the contacts, our middle end of line MUL starts. And then we have the poly gate connecting them. So, here also this gate connection formation comes under the MUL. This is our poly gate. And then we connect source drains as per the CMOS. Here it goes to BDD and here it goes to ground and this layer whichever is now I have just shown for interconnection this is a little one and this kind of source strain connection connection among the transistor this is at the MEOL and here the contact is created for the output and anything beyond because now I cannot grow the thing vertically because that will grow towards you. Anything beyond this goes for the back end of line. So this is a typical example. Uh, in case of different devices, you can now understand what to be in the FUL category or whatever in the BOL category and what comes in between that is MEOL category. So this is kind of this uh, divisions are part of the semiconductor fabrication process. and these terms are highly related to the boundary where your chip is sent. We are done with this particular slide, so let's move on. FUL and BUL in the physical design, and I'll also point out the MUL here at the left side will be our analog layout design that is the the layout by hand and right hand side will be the physical design part of the soc design in the left side you can also say the ip design part where we define the ip layout by hand say by some tool like virtuoso and right hand side we will use a tool like a icc or encounter so this is the two different parts where the fuel part is handcrafted by you and the BUL part is handcrafted here and somewhere in the fine part lies the middle end of line. I will also point it out. So here goes the schematic design and the flow will go in the direction of the arrow. Then is the layout. Next is the DRC LBS. Then goes the RC extraction. Then comes the physical verification. And finally, the characterization and delivery. So, this is a very short and sweet part that is the back end part of the IP design, or you can say the analog design, whatever applicable to you where you are working. And this stage already, this is the we have talked about the back end part of the analog or IP design. Now we go towards the physical design part of the SOC design. So, first, once the front end design is done, 
then we go for the load planning and PNR, then we have the DRC and LVS, then we go for the RC extraction, then we go for the ST and all the types of physical verification, including EMI, IR checks, all those things, antenna checks and all those stuffs. And finally, we do the formal verification and sign off. So this is in a nutshell, the backend part of the SOC design that is on the right side and left side is for the IPs or the analog design. This part covered by the purple box is where the FEOL is designed by a layout engineer by hand. And once the FEOL is done, also MEOL is also done here. So this is the typically you do the design and which actually getting utilized in FEOL resides here because in the physical design part of the SOC design, mostly the standard cells are used. So they are only placed and interconnected. You don't do the actual go into the each individual cell and edit their layouts. What you do in the your analog or IP design at the left hand side. So here the purple box covers where the BEOL part is taken care. That means I am talking about not only the design also but for the verification. That means you scrutinize them and check them all these things. That's why I kept multiple steps inside the box. You can see the FEOL and the MEOL goes in the left hand side and where the BEOL part goes in the right hand side. So I think I have given you a bird's eye view how this FEOL and BEOL resides in where in which area of the VLSI design. So we are done with this particular slide. So let's move on. Summary. FUL generally covers everything up to but not including the deposition of metal or via interconnect layers. MUL consists of semiconductor wafer processing steps that create local electrical connection among source drain gate and off transistors. BUL is the remaining portion of the IC fabrication where the individual active or passive devices get interconnected with wiring. For modern IC process, more than 10 metal layers can be added through BEOL. All the three EOL are taken care to physical design in VLSI. When I say physical design, I mean the physical design part of both the IP design and the SOC design. So both are take huge covers the EOL. So we are done with this particular slide. So let's move on. Thank you very much for watching up to this point and don't forget to like, share and subscribe in case you have some dislikes. Put that in words in the comment section down below. And bye for today.